Hello guys, Saul here and you're welcome to Shexel Tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at two amazing templates. That is the Qualitative Workplace Assessment Tool and then the Master Qualitative Workplace Assessment Log. So as the name could note, one is a master log that you use to collate data after you have finished using the Individual Workplace Assessment Tool. All right, so um, the Workplace Assessment Tool is going to be used by one person and then the master workplace assessment log is going to be used by the person who is in charge for collating all the responses by employees. All right. So without wasting time, let's get straight into what these templates are all about. So the qualitative workplace assessment tool, as the name could note, is a qualitative assessment of employees, perception about their level of risk at the workplace as far as welfare, health and hygiene is concerned. Now, companies are responsible for making sure that the workplace is safe or making sure that they are creating a safe work environment for employees. Now, are you trying to gather feedback? Do you make effort to gather feedback about the level of comfort at the workplace? Are the employees comfortable? So you are trying to, we are trying to do survey on each employee so that we gather feedback on a set of parameters indicative of how well the organization is ensuring a safe work environment. So without wasting time, let's get straight into the future. So we are looking at a set of parameters such as risk of accident, the physical conditions at the workplace, the chemical you know, conditions, the ergonomic conditions, the psychosocial conditions, and other factors. Now, these factors, will, once they are properly controlled or they are properly managed by you know, good system of controls, employees are supposed to you know, share his perspective of it as to whether they strongly agree or disagree, and that would indicate the level of comfort the employee has at the workplace, you know, given... Um, all these responses they're going to be given. Now, take note that we are assessing employees' responses on a scale of one to five, which is a priority ranking. All right. So one is strongly disagree, whereas five is strongly agree. All right. So strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, and strongly agree. And where it is not applicable, employee has the option to indicate as not applicable. Now, on a scale of one to five, whenever you indicate a strongly agree, it means that the employee, you know very much agrees with the control measure that is in place and strongly believes that the workplace is safe with regards to the questions, all right? So qualitative is always looking at a set of questions with regards to a set of, a set of parameters. So we're looking at risk of accident. We prevent workplace accidents. If an accident happens, we work to make sure that it does not happen again. Employee strongly agrees. And that is actually a good plus for the organization. Now, when we go to the physical conditions, for instance, Daylight, general lighting, and work light is okay. Employee strongly agrees. That is very positive to the organization. When we go to chemical, we're looking at hazardous substances and chemicals are handled in a safe manner, and safety data sheets are updated and located nearby. Work with hazardous substances and chemicals is planned in a, in a way so that work can be performed safely. Strongly agree. So these are really the parameters that we've researched properly and provided them here. You have the option to revise them and, you know, you can actually fine-tune it. You can actually fine-tune it if you want. 
all right so that's basically it this survey is done by the employee so whoever is in charge of doing workplace assessment for employees must distribute this template to all the employees because the employee is going to provide his name his position the department the location and the date of the survey all right so that's these are all the the names are and the parameters basically the data the employee is going to be providing and they provide all these responses now take note every time employee provides a strongly disagree response there's a section that he has to provide an explanation if strongly disagree explain so you are still gathering qualitative data which is very very useful for decision making about the level of comfort at the workplace indicative of the safe work environment or a very healthy work environment all right so all these responses that are strongly disagreed get transferred automatically here but before that let's take note that all the responses that we provide at the end of the day is going to give us a score and this score shows how employees how the employee feels safe at the workplace all right now these responses get transferred here automatically to show a summary of the responses or the a summary of the assessment all right based on all these factors or all these focus areas and we can see the employee actually feel much safe much safe knowing that the risk of accidents at the workplace is properly controlled so it's 95 percent chemical hazards are properly controlled based on all these responses the hundred percent there are various other ones that are pretty much low and all of that so then the this is an overall score that the employee believes he feels safe all right 80 percent score shows how employee believes that he's actually in a very good work environment and the lower the score the worst it is at the workplace that is a it's a very risky work environment now all the strongly disagree get transferred here and then we will encourage the employee to provide a corrective action so that is consultation right there we are engaging with the worker making sure that they make suggestions as to what corrective actions they need to, company must consider with regards to the issues that they strongly disagree all right so that is very very good right there now if they are if you're using this template individually perhaps you want to introduce this action tracking here where you want to provide a date and assign to a responsible person it may not really be relevant because at the end of the day whoever is doing the survey who is the hsq manager or whatever is probably looking to gather feedback collate all these survey reports so perhaps just creative action is more than enough because you're going to be collating it in a master workplace assessment log now Based on all these responses, the fact that this transferred here automatically, the fact that action plan sheet is populated automatically, they strongly disagree, and you want to probably utilize it. The next thing is to go to the data tab on the menu and click on refresh all. And once you refresh all, this is how it shows on the dashboard. The, we are looking at the various risk factors, okay, the various factors or focus areas. What is the level of you know responses that the employer has given indicative of how comfortable he is with the safety controls they strongly disagree how many count of it and how many count of the various other ones and overall you know score indicative of the workplace comfort of the employee all right or indicator of indicative of the employee's comfort at the workplace and then based on actions that are open and closed they get transferred here as well now all these are individual reports that we use for making a dashboard so as you can see it's not really a very complex template is there's a fact that employees that's a survey and there's a dashboard to show the performance now employee using this will be pretty much excited knowing that at the end of the day whatever i all the responses i provided that's how it translates onto the dashboard all right so in terms of how to use this template it's very very simple just make sure that you get rid of this you get rid of this get it ready for the employee to enter his own responses and as you delete all of this okay as you delete all of this all you need to do is just go to the data tab now take note we've gotten rid of all these responses including this one all right now when we come here automatically everything is gone so that means that this sheet is strictly connected 100 percent now there's no strongly disagree so we go ahead and delete this section as well and we get it, we delete this section as well now we come to the dashboard we go to the data tab we refresh all and everything is zero as you can see so now we can give this template out to our employee to share his feedback about the levels of controls what is his perception about these controls with regards to the risk of accident physical condition chemical economic psychosocial all right and, and they will then provide all the responses we'll take note strongly disagree get transferred here automatically 
when we actually um come here that's right there strongly disagreed has has been transferred here again if i have a lot of strongly disagree see what it does it get transferred here automatically so i need to just expand it and that's basically it right so now let's just bring back our data to how it was before okay and once you have data in there all you need to do is just refresh all and once we refresh all everything is back to how it was okay so this is how interesting this single template is all about this is used to be used by just one person all right now let's go straight to the master log now let me try and keep the other templates open because we're going to be utilizing it because based on this response especially the summary of the assessment we're going to use it in the master log okay now when it comes to the master log as the name connotes you are building a log it's a master log of all the surveys that employees have done so the hsq manager will be collating all the reports to be sent to him and you put in a, fol in a folder and update this master log one at a time now updating this template is very very simple all right now take note let's go to the features we have the table of content for easy navigation we have the approved list you need to build your list of employees who have done the survey the, the job title and the department because you're going to need it in the source data just by selecting employees name okay the department gets populated here automatically that is the only relevant thing we are looking for to achieve just the department all right now the date of the evaluation or the date of the assessment you provide it in there and then now this is where it gets interesting this is where you're going to be collating the the scores from the survey that the employee did so all you need to do is just come here come to this very section as you can see these are the exact same parameters we are looking at exact same parameters all right so what we do is that we come here and we control c we just copy come here okay and then you paste it outside first and foremost just paste it outside in values only okay control c and then you know just transpose it transpose it paste special and transpose paste special and transpose okay there you have it so we've transposed it we've pasted it right there and that is exactly what we're going to be doing for all the other employees so it's just a simple of a simple approach of copy and paste you just copy and paste that's it so we've copied the data from the individual workplace assessment log we've put it in here we are collating all the responses from all the other employees in fact it could even be on a particular date because you may be doing the workplace assessment survey maybe um, every quarter or something or every year whatever timeline that you give to yourself you're going to be doing that so you're just going to be updating and populating each, each evaluation that you do the responses that all the employees you're going to populate all of them here now in order for you to translate on a dashboard all you need to do is just go to the data tab on the menu and click on refresh all when you click on refresh all it tells us that various levels the perception the overall perception of employees with regards to the chemical handling at the workplace the physical hazards how well they are being controlled how well the their psychosocial hazards are being controlled what is the level of risk of accident in their perception what is the level of economics controls or workplace economics how how strongly you know how well is it regarding their comfort at the workplace all right and there's a trend the trend as and when you do the survey it's going to be estimating the trend this overall score so we can now boldly say that 69 percent of our workforce or our workforce believe that the workplace is safe at 69 percent all right obviously 69 percent is not enough achieving a 90 percent workplace comfort or employees having that kind of perception that the workplace is comfortable at a score of 90 percent is pretty pretty good all right so that is basically it um all the so now the action plan all right now based on each individual's um proposal or proposed corrective actions all right proposed corrective actions all you need to just copy and paste here and then you can actually delete the ones that are not relevant so corrective action all you need to just control c control c and come here and paste paste it all right just paste it once you paste it all right um you can choose to now de determine who is responsible and set a timeline and everything the overall goal is that you're trying to collate all the corrective actions that have been proposed by employees and you would then fine-tune it further delete which ones that you think are not relevant and then focus on the main ones okay or you can create your own corrective actions to follow up on 
based on the workplace assessment survey that you've done all right so that's pretty much what this template is all about and now in terms of how to use this very template it is very very simple just make sure that you clear the data you get rid of all of this okay and i just come to the dashboard you refresh all we have these ones because they are all coming from the action plan you can delete these ones also all right get rid of this and come to the dashboard you refresh all, all right so now the template is literally blank all right if you go to all the report they are blank so that's how you can actually use it you start populating your data based on the individual surveys that have been done by employees okay you have their names here you want to select this populate you provide the date of the evaluation and provide all the responses this section get calculated automatically you click on refresh or it's going to update so let's just bring back our data to how it was okay now the data is back, I'll just refresh all because whenever there is changes, we need to make sure we've refreshed our data, all right? So this is a very interesting dashboard and I believe that it solves a very, you know, good problem at the workplace, all right? So thank you all for your attention. Now, let me just go by the definition. See, the master workplace assessment, the master qualitative workplace assessment log is a master version of the qualitative workplace assessment tool designed for recording scores from qualitative assessments completed by employees to estimate the overall score across the board as pertaining to the various elements of an effective qualitative workplace assessment. All right, so basically, this is what this template is all about. In case you are, you know, interested in buying this template, all you need to do is just visit our website, um, www.shexel.com. Okay, come all the way to the middle. Just come straight to the middle. You find the workplace assessment log right there okay so we have the master qualitative workplace assessment and then we also have the qualitative workplace assessment right here okay so that's it here if you want to download all you need to do is just click on this the download file okay it takes you to the download page same with this one also it takes you to the download page okay and on the download page you're gonna find a video right here all you need to just scroll down and make a purchase same with this one all you need to do is scroll down and make a purchase all right so thank you all for your attention in case you're interested in this template you know what to do if you want us to do another demo all you need to do is just book a meeting all right so cheers guys see you again soon in another video bye for now